I'm here in Lima in Peru and this is our first time in South America this trip so it's pretty cool and pretty exciting to be here. High in the mountains of Peru, modern communities are using ancient methods to help deal with their water problems. In the Andes, uh, the, the, the situation is of extremes probably, no? Of in the rainy season that is very short, uh, in three months you have the water for the whole year. That means that for nine months of the year they don't get any water. In order to survive in these extreme conditions, the ancient Peruvians developed a deep knowledge of the land and its natural water systems. Today, the communities are still using this knowledge. They use channels and small reservoirs to capture water high on the mountains during the rainy season. This water seeps into the ground and slowly filters through the natural hydrological system. During the dry season, the water emerges from springs at lower altitudes where the communities live. Harnessing the power of this ancient knowledge allows these communities to survive. Through the long dry seasons, they can use this water for their crops and their livestock. El agua es la base principal del, del ser humano, el vida. El, para nosotros el agua es vida. We are in, now in a context of, of climate change. And with the people moving so fast from, from the Andes to the to the cities, for example, knowledge is, is also moving and changing. So probably we will lose some parts of the knowledge, but other parts will still remain there. And we have to transform that knowledge, to adapt that knowledge to the, the new conditions we have in, 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 the, in this changing world.